in front of me is a huge statue of Mama Mary. Look at this. Hey. What's up, buddy? Good afternoon, how are you? This is some sort of parish, maybe church or basilica. Yeah. Oh. Yeah! Woo! Oh, I love these type of tunnels. Hello folks and welcome to today's video. I ended up staying in the area of Tambo Bong as you see here. There's no power right now. There's been no power for the past couple hours. It started from 6 p.m. and I think it's gonna lapse until possibly midday if not further. So the time is 9 a.m. now and we're setting off once again on the road. Gonna cover quite a bit of distance. I was gonna stop this time in Vigan City. However, it's six and a half hours from here. So it's actually closer to stop by in Baguio and then I might get a night's rest there and then go to Vigan City the next day, etc. Maybe break up the trip that way. Because yeah, it's always a pleasure to go back to Baguio. High altitudes, low temperatures, why not? So we're going to Baguio. This is maybe now the fifth time, fourth or fifth time that I'm going to Baguio. It's got cows randomly walking around the streets, eating grass. Anyway, as I leave this town, I want to tell you about the route that we're taking to Baguio. We're actually going to be passing by the 100 islands in Panak Sinan. I've done a lot of island hopping tours recently in El Nido. And now, if I go and do some island hopping tours also in Panak Sinan, first of all, I don't think I'll appreciate it as much. And second of all, I don't want the content to become a little stale by constantly doing island hopping tours. Uh, I think I've already done two when I was in El Nido and that's enough. Maybe I'll do more in the future. No, I definitely will do more in the future when I visit El Nido again. But uh, I don't want every piece of content that I create in the past one or two weeks to just be island hopping tours. Although they're great, you lose a sense of appreciation when you do too many at once. You really need to uh, give some time between each island hopping tour when you do it. That's all I've come to that. Hey, we've got more cows crossing the street. Oh. Hey buddy, you want to get off the road? Thank you all. The march of the cows. Why are so many of them? up on the side of the road here on the way to Baguio. I think we're about three hours away from Baguio City and in front of me is a huge statue of Mama Mary. Look at this. How big would you say this is? Maybe 10, 10 meters high? 10 to 15 meters? It says Stonino Parish Monument Legacy for 500 years of Christianity. God bless! Welcome to Poblacion View Deck. Apparently this is a view deck. And to get to it, we climb up these white stairs. Is it much of a view deck? Well, that's not bad. It's pretty cool. Well, I just randomly stop here and check it out. Um, but let's keep going. <laughs> But we're now in La Union. Apparently there's a road closure on Cannon Road, so we're gonna have to go down this way. Well, I've taken this ride, which has opened up into a country road. And if you saw like the entrance, you wouldn't believe there's a road there. It was so obscure. It looks like a pretty decent road. And we're only one hour and 15 minutes away from reaching Baguio. Look, there's a sign here that says, alternate route to Baguio, this direction. Looks like we're taking a provincial slash barangay road to Baguio. There's a PMP checkpoint. Hey. 
What's up, buddy? Good afternoon. How are you? Welcome to the vlog. Would you like to check? No, no. No? It's okay. That's okay? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, Salama. Thank you. Okay, okay. Go to Baguio. Okay. Salama. Nice Wait, why is there steps leading to up there? What is up there? Oh. Well, I've had to pull over on the side of the road here because this looks really interesting. These stairs leading up got me very curious. So we're going to go up and have a look. This is some sort of parish, maybe church or basilica, a place of worship. And on the final landing, there's an image of Mama Mary with devotees praying to her. Now, if we take the trail in this direction, to the right of where Mama Mary is. It looks like it's a forest trail that leads to I don't know where. Shall we take it? Let's wander around a little bit and see what's around the corner. Where are we going? I do not know, but the path gets very, very steep. Well, I was hoping we would get to a viewpoint, but it looks like we've reached another kind of flat area on this hill. So uh, I think I'm gonna head back, back to the motorbike and carry on going to Baguio. Woo. Once again, another fun adventure though. Didn't yield to a huge amount of results. At least we got to have a feel and a look for where this trail kind of goes. Anyway, time to make my way back down. Oh, this is, this is very steep. Gonna use this little tree here for support. Oh, this is pretty crap. Goodness me. What does one do here? I feel like I need to tread lightly here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that route that we just crossed there is on a very steep slope. Um, and it's just rubble, dirt and rubble, very, very slippery. Next hurdle to get back down is this bit here. Oh yeah. Hello, Paul, how are you? <laughs> it's very, very steep, right? Miniature steps. Hey. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness me, uh, got to be careful because when you start kind of like jogging down or running down it's very hard to stop your momentum, especially on that bit. I was taking like a little miniature steps, trying to make sure um, I don't take too many big ones because uh, I feel like with big steps you're more likely to slip. Yeah, there we are. Now oh, what is that, snake? No. <sighs> There's this massive hold up and I don't know what it is. I think it's got something to do with this truck in the middle of the street. I think it's broken down. Oh, 
it's a good thing I'm on a scooter, eh? Look on all the traffic. That truck is holding up. I'm starting to notice the ambient temperatures are getting a lot cooler. Ah, oh, it's lovely. And if this is the direction towards Baggio, it looks like it's going to be very cloudy in Baggio today. I'm perfectly happy with that. As long as it doesn't rain, I'm okay. <laughs> oh, man, what a pleasure. It says, warning, steep slope with a hairpin. Okay. That's not too bad. We are really high really high right now the only mountains that are higher than us at this moment in time are the ones back there but they're piercing into the clouds i really want to stop somewhere and show you the view aha maybe over here oh it looks like a viewpoint too ice cream ice cream Wow, holy crap, <laughs> this is fantastic, whoa, look at the shape of those mountains there, uh, but not only that, we also have a view of the very road that we took up to get to where we are right now, sublime views of these mountains folks, and I can't believe it, but just over there, is the coastline, the west coast of Luzon. Now, had I not taken a detour to Baguio, we would be driving along that coastline all the way along there up to Vigan City. You know, I put my wind jacket on to protect me from the sun. Thank goodness I've kept it on because it's now really cold up here. No way, we go to the tunnel like this? <laughs> oh, I love these type of tunnels. Yeah! Woo! Okay folks, I've officially made it to Baguio and I'm standing on the very top terrace of SM Baguio. Look at this view. We've got Burnham Park over there, the university down here with its sports facilities, uh, the wonderful backdrop of the mountains here in Baguio. The weather still looks pretty gloomy and moody, but I I'm loving it here. And the temperatures are so cool. For now, I'm gonna make my way to the accommodation where I've been invited ever so kindly by a subscriber to come stay at a penthouse here in Baguio. I'm gonna be staying there for two nights. And from the pictures that I've seen, this place looks incredible. So let's make our way there now. checked into the penthouse and I can't believe the size of this place and how beautiful it is. I can't wait to show you around, tour you around this penthouse in a future video. But folks, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like today's video and share it with friends and family. And I will see you in the next video here on the channel. Many thanks for watching guys. Take care and bye for now.